I love these little bags. Hello and welcome to my channel, Haley Marie Vintage. As you can see here, today we're doing my Redbird Vintage Box Unboxing. This is always my favorite day of the month, and this month it feels like especially so because obviously there's been a lot going on in the world and things feel very uncertain and scary, especially here in Seattle. It's been crazy to watch how the city has drained out and shut down and things like that. This is the perfect distraction from all that. So Redbird Vintage Box is a subscription box. I have the Lorraine, which is the bigger of the two because I really love the clothing. Um, if you're interested in signing up for this box, you can use my code HaleyMarie10, which is down in the description box. You'll get 10% off if you use that. Um, and this is not sponsored. All the thoughts and opinions on this are mine. Um, they just, they emailed me after seeing one of my videos and asked if I wanted a code and I thought, why not? <laughs> um, especially if you guys get 10% off something, that's really great. Um, it'll it cover the shipping, which is nice. Um, so I'll get started on opening this. Um, as always, it's wrapped nice. Let's see. The struggle. Um... Well, oh, we've got our little thing of goodies. Looks like there's a really cute pattern in there that I'm very excited for. It looks fruity. Um, dear Haley, we hope you love your box this month. We included a few extra to say thanks for sharing your Redbird experience. Don't forget your code to share is Haley Marie 10 Karen and Sarah. Um, now that I've seen it as dad, I can't see Sarah's signature as any other thing, way, and that's always really funny to me. Um, so first up we have their cute little accessory bags. I love these bags and I also use them all over the house. I hold like all my hair ties in one, all my bobby pins in one, and then all my like duckbill clips. Duckbill clips in one. And I also use them to like carry to the gym for after work when I'm taking off my jewelry and stuff like that. Um, I just, I love these little bags. Um... Ooh, we have a teapot brooch. I requested this. Here it is. It has a, I think that's an Avon mark on it. I'm not really huge about, like I don't need jewelry to be marked, I don't really care. But I do really love this teapot and it'll be so cute on the lapel of things. Ooh, this is so pretty and I love it. This is another brooch. This is like a cute floral. It'll be great for spring. I definitely love this color. I'm very, very excited about that. And then we got some cute little basic white earrings for studs. If they're this small, I usually put them... Oh, I think they're maybe opal. Yeah, they, they might be opal. I usually put them in like my second hole. I'm not even wearing earrings today. Um, but I have three ear piercings, so usually I put big earrings in the main one, and then I'll put little ones like that further back. Mm -mm -mm. Oh god, I'm throwing things. Here's a cute little pair of earrings. They're very neutral. They'll pair with a lot. I'm trying to work on wearing more warms so these will fit better into my warm stuff. Ooh, we've got another very pretty brooch. Ooh, and a ring, but we'll talk about the brooch first. This here is just a nice simple gold brooch. This will be easy to pop on pretty much anything. Admittedly, I am still figuring out how to wear brooches. I am not the best at it. Um, and then we have, ooh, this really pretty orangey ring. Uh, I think this will be a middle finger ring for me. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. Uh, when I show the close-ups of this, you're gonna see a very nice iron burn. I really got myself on the iron last week while making a dress. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and then last up, we have this really beautiful, really delicate necklace. Oh my god, that's so pretty. It's just... A little aqua teal stone that's set. It's stunning. Um, and then the last piece they usually put here, which is usually non-authentic. In this case, it's just like a nice basic brooch. Because it's in good condition, it's probably not authentic vintage. Oh, and then we have another thing here. And if it's what I think it is, I'm so excited. Oh my god, look at this little purse. I have no idea how I'll ever use it because I would only hold my ID. But it is so, so beautiful. It's like what one of those white beaded ones. 
<sighs> I'm really bad at these clasps. Uh, one of the ladies at Seattle Recreative made fun of me because she's like, you're, it's because you're closing them while trying to open them. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, and the inside of this bag is beautiful. It even has its little old mirror in it. Um, wow, that's an amazing condition. There's a little rust staining in the lining here. But other than that, it's in really good condition. I might reinforce some of the stitching in here because it looks like it's starting to fall apart. But this is a Whiting and Davis. That's what I thought. Um, this is truly stunning and I'm so excited about it. Ugh, I just closed the chain in it because I'm a mess when it comes to clutches with these little, little clasps. I'm no good at it. But this is really truly stunning and I'm so excited to have this in my collection. Um, it'll be, I don't know, we'll see when I use it, but I will use it at some point. Let's get into the clothing. I think this one I requested. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I'm like really covering my face. This looks like just a really nice blue dress with an elastic waist, so it should fit. Um, it has a tag in it, but the tag has been cut out. So mystery on the brand. Looks super cute with the little ruched sleeves. I saw a lady walking the other day with sleeves, like the really big ruched sleeves from like a modern garment. And I don't know why, but it kind of cracked me up. Next up, ooh, and I also love how the items smell. They always smell freshly laundered, which they are. Um, I think it's very impressive that they clean this much vintage clothing because that is maybe my nightmare. Um, okay, what is this? How does it, how is it worn? Oh, here we are. Ooh, okay, so this does have a brand. This is a Jody with a little lady on it um, of California, Jody of California. Um, this is super pretty. Um, the fabric feels really nice. It looks like it might be short enough that I won't have to hem it. We'll see though when I go to try it on for you guys. Um, but it has these really beautiful they're kind of like a 30s sleeve. Um, I'm really excited about this, and I love this pattern. This pattern is right up my alley. Oh, it's sh sheared? Sheared? <laughs> I know it's not sheared. Wow, what a mess. That is it for this video. If you are interested in getting a box like this, definitely check it out. They're super great, and they're always a highlight of my month. Definitely subscribe and stick around if you like vintage sewing and crafting content. I definitely have some thrift hauls and probably some online shopping hauls with the way things are going. Um, so I'll definitely have those up in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Ooh, okay, what else am I doing? But I always film my outro before then. If you... Blah, 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 blah. Why am I so unfocused? That is it. Whoa.